and uh, good evening you all. Uh, yes, um, I am Ricardo, uh, by my side, my colleague Mario. Hello everybody. And uh, yes, it is true, uh, we, we have been working uh, with, uh, as a guide for Nature Trek from the beginning, some 35, 36 years ago. And uh, I said uh, good evening, although it is a bit earlier here in Argentina. We are sitting in our office here in Salta. Salta is that uh, small province in the northwest of the country that uh, Paul has been telling you about. And um, yes, it is a bit earlier, I said, so um, not adequate for a glass of wine, I am afraid. It's a bit too early. <laughs> I'm sure many well, people here sitting watching are uh, having a glass of wine, <laughs> Ricardo, on your behalf. So. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, enjoy that. Very good. <laughs> but it's a good time for our mate. <laughs> oh, yes, oh. That's this, this is the mate. This is the other official drink in Argentina. We, we, we drink mate with that gourd and the pipe. So <clears throat> that's something typical. Perfect. Um, well, cheers. <laughs> uh, right. Let me get, please, let me get into the uh, Southern Argentina tour. And I will uh, share the screen with you. This is, no. Here we are. Although, can you see the um, yeah. presentation now? Yeah, that's perfect, Ricardo. Very good. Okay. So this, this, this is uh, the uh, map of Patagonia. And uh, as we have been seeing, this is Buenos Aires, located uh, a bit farther north. And this is the entrance gate to Argentina. The flights arrive in Buenos Aires. On the first day, when we arrive to Buenos Aires, there will be time in the afternoon for, uh, for a visit to the Costanera Sur Reserve. That is the reserve that uh, you have had information as well from, from Paul. Uh, it is a really interesting uh, place with uh, wetlands. Uh, by the side of La Plata River. And uh, when we visit that place in one afternoon, uh, we see, we usually see 60, 70 species of birds there, including some of the very, uh, I would say, emblematic species, such as the Rufus Hornero, our national bird, and uh, the spectacular uh, uh, Chaha, Southern Screamer. Chaha is our, our common name in, in Argentina, onomatopoeic. Um, but um, on the, uh, this, this is just to spend the afternoon in Buenos Aires. On the next day, we take an early flight to the south. We fly to Treleu. I cannot, I, do, I cannot, uh, point out the places here in the map for some reason, but Trelew is near Valdez Peninsula and it is mentioned in the map. Can you follow me? Is it something that you can see there in the map? Trelew. No, Just to... I can't see your cursor, I'm afraid, mm -hmm. Ricardo, but... Um... Oh, we, we can point, we can see it though. It is above, just above the eye of Patagonia on the- tech. That's right, yes, yes. Uh, uh, just to the south of the Valdez Peninsula. And, uh, and uh, we fly to Treleu and then we get into the famous Valdez Peninsula. Uh, I will show you, oh, well, we, we say Puerto Madryn because it is the most important town in this area. However, here we are, this, this is Treleu. And uh, just after arriving, uh, arrival in Trello, we will drive by coach to Puerto Madryn. And uh, uh, from Puerto Madryn, we proceed uh, now driving to the east uh, in order to reach Puerto Pyramides. 
here, right at the entrance of the Valdez Peninsula. These roads, they are uh, rather uh, easy driving. Uh, most of them are paved, but the last section here arriving to Puerto Pirámides is, is unpaved road. And all the roads that we will be driving in the next days in, in Valdez Peninsula, they are gravel roads. Um, so uh, in Puerto Pirámides, we will stay at a nice lodge overlooking the bay here. Um, first of all, let me show you. Well, here in this uh, map, um, you will find a few details, information on the different fauna that we have in, in, in Valdez Peninsula. Southern right ways, it says June 15th, to December, mid-December. That is true, uh, southern right whales can be seen during that uh, time of period. And we actually plan to make uh, a boat ride to see the whales. Then Magellanic penguins uh, from mid-September to mid-April. Orcas are, are in the area all year round. Although we can say that the best uh, part of the year are October and November to see them in Caleta Valdez. Caleta Valdez is here at the edge of the Valdez Peninsula on the eastern coast. And uh, then after that date, March and April are the best months to see them in Punta Norte, a bit farther north of Caleta Valdez, um, Punta Norte. Right, then of course, southern elephant seals, sea lions, they are all year round, all along the coast, as we will see a few photos. Dolphins, uh, only in the, in the summertime, in mid-December to April, and the rest of the, uh, of the fauna, including maras, foxes, armadillos, and so on, all year round. So uh, we will be here right in the time to visit the best parts of Valdez Peninsula, including the Gulf of Nuevo waters to see the whales. <clears throat> this is at the entrance, this place is Isla de los Pájaros, the bird island. It is located at the entrance of the Valdez Peninsula. What we do is drive with the coach to the place, get down there, uh, walk along the uh, paths that are very well designed, and uh, then we reach the coast. In some areas, we can actually walk to the edge of the water and uh, look for birds in that area. Then we get, yes, I told you about Puerto Pirámides. This is a nice photo of the small village of Puerto Pirámides. And that building with the green roofs, that is the ACA hotel where we normally stay. Very well located. And uh, what we are seeing here is the bay of the Gulf of Nuevo waters. These are the, 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 the waters where we see the, the whales in a special boat ride. Uh -huh. Well, these photos are showing us the, uh, the boat the boat, we get into one of these boats to go and see the, 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 the southern right whales. And this thing, uh, tractor thing here on the right hand side, that is the, uh, the vehicle uh, that they use to pull the water from the water, out from the water, and then put it back once the people is uh, already uh, comfortable sitting inside. This, this <laughs> it is a rather interesting operation. And uh, when we have uh, high tide and we have some waves coming in, uh, this um, uh, tractor thing, it, it gets all covered by the water. So call it the yellow submarine or, or something like that. Um, but, but it is quite a, a, a very safe and brilliant operation, very practical. Here we are uh, with uh, some of the typical uh, views that we can have of the southern right whales in the Gulf of Nuevo waters. 
Yes, some of these whales get really close just to the border of the boat. So we see them from very close distance. Another magnificent tail. They, they call it tail flagging. They have different names for the behavior. This is a hippo here in the waters. No, nope, hold on. This is a southern right whale head. <laughs> and uh, yes, you uh, here really you can almost touch the head of these whales that they get very close to the boat. And uh, uh, let me show you a, a few uh, uh, pictures of uh, different uh, typical fauna of the peninsula. First of all, I would like to mention that uh, most of these pictures in the Valdez Peninsula, they belong to uh, our nature trek guide, local guide, and our representative in Valdez Peninsula, Carol Mackey. Um, and Carol has been organizing all this section of the photos. Thank you, Carol. This is Darwin's Rhea, or Lesser Rhea. Well, you have already seen Lesseria in the photos by Tim. And uh, uh, why it is called Darwin or Lesser? Because it, they say, some authors will say that uh, there are two different species. The one in the Northwest, Lesser, and the one in the South, in Patagonia, it is Darwin's. It should be Darwin's. But uh, nowadays, they are considered different races. So, Lesseria. And a very nice photo of the Chilean flamingos just by the side of the, of the uh, sea. Here we have the guanacos again, as you can see, and uh, as, as, as Paul has been telling us, the, the guanaco is widespread all the way from uh, Tierra del Fuego in the south. And uh, uh, using the Patagonian steppe all the way up to the Valdez Peninsula and following the Andes change all the way up to the northwest of the country. Guanaco is one of the four species of camelids in South America. Uh, camelids, when I say camelids, it is, uh, we are talking about the uh, family of, of the camels, really. And these are South American camelids. You have already seen the vicuña in the northern Argentina too. Um, and the guanaco is, is easy to tell apart by this dark, grayish dark face from the vicuña. Vicuña is all pale. And uh, now we have a Patagonian gray fox on the left. There is a Patagonian cavi here on the right. Uh, Cavies are rodents. Well, I have heard some people calling them cavies, the pronunciation. Please uh, excuse me if I am not clear. Um, I say cavi. And uh, these Patagonian cavies are rodents and they will share family with another, yet another, this Mara. Mara, this, this is a very typical um, mammal in Patagonia. And you, we see them here in Valdez Peninsula. The Mara is a rodent, is in the same family of the quiz, of the, uh, uh, of the lesser cabi. And um, uh, they, they look like a hare, but they are not related to hares. They are not in the, in the family of hares. They have a plump body, those uh, thin legs, large head. And when they uh, run away, it, it's interesting to see that because they jump in the four legs. At the same time, they, they really go like jumping uh, all along. And uh, this is Patagonian Mara. Right, Mario is telling me to go farther on <laughs> time is running what we have here is barrowin owl here on the left and uh, a tarantula something that we normally see that is on the right of the tarantula there is a elegant crested tinamo with a with a long crest that is competing with the with the patch of grass behind 
very beautiful and common yes then on the uh, on the left again a blackish oyster catcher the burrowing parrots perching on the bush a lizard that is patagonian lizard in the genus liolemus this is getting into the real uh, important fauna along the coast elephant southern elephant seals the females are much smaller, one third of the male, and they do not have the, the, the typical proboscis, the typical thing that the males have uh, that has earned their name of elephants. And um, this is Caleta Valdez. I wanted to show you a bit of the, of the shoreline in, the, in Valdez Peninsula. Caleta Valdez is really spectacular. You get to the, to the border, and uh, with the binoculars, we see uh, lots of birds, and we, we see the elephant seal colonies and, and, and uh, sea lions colonies, as well as a few penguins nesting. Here we are in Punta Norte. Punta Norte is uh, the north point. Uh, this is the place where the orcas come to uh, sometimes to, to prey on uh, on sea lions, and you see them in the uh, on the right hand side trying to catch uh, these sea lions. This is the thing that we see on the BBC uh, film when they beach themselves. The orcas beach themselves to catch to grab a, a sea lion in the colony. That is the, the thing that we see during March, April, not during October, November. That is a different place where we see the orcas. And uh, again, here, more pictures of the orcas with the explanation about the two seasons, October, November in Caleta Valdez, March, April in Punta Norte. Here, well, once we, left, we leave from uh, Valdez Peninsula, we return to Trelew. And from Trelew, we take two nights in a nice hotel in Trelew. And from there, we will drive to Punta Tombo, the Magellanic penguin colony where, yes, more than 200,000 nesting pairs are there. Spectacular views of that penguin colony. Uh, once again, we have very well-designed uh, paths where we walk. And uh, yes, we, we will see Guanacos also near when we have ended this uh, visit to the Punta Tombo Magellanic Penguin Colony, we will visit the Chubut River Valley that is cultivated. And uh, this is the place where the Welsh immigrants um, established in the 19th century. Um, the um, Welsh traditions persist more than 6,000 people still speaking Welsh rather than in Spanish. We will indulge ourselves with some uh, cup of tea and uh, some Welsh cakes. Wonderful place to spend a couple of hours. And uh, well, we, see good, we say goodbye to the Peninsula Valdez area. We will take a flight to the next uh, de destination. This is El Calafate. El Calafate is a small town here on the, um, on the southern portion of Santa Cruz province and on the western section near the Andes range. Here in El Calafate, we will spend three nights, three days, on the first day, we will visit, of course, Lago Argentino, and we will look for the Magellanic plover, as well as many other birds in the area. But uh, particularly Magellanic plover is one of the main attractions here. And we will see photos of that later. <clears throat> On the second day, we will go and visit the famous Moreno Glacier. The Perito Moreno Glacier is this, the spectacular uh, place uh, coming down. This is a river of iced water coming down from the 
from the Patagonian ice cap. Fantastic. And of course, there, there, there is an, uh, several outlook points that we will walk and visit in the area. Another nice pictures of the uh, Moreno Glacier here, different angles of views. We can spend uh, really uh, the full day in this area, enjoying all this spectacle and looking for birds. Let me get back into the map and uh, because I wanted to show you where is the Perito Moreno Glacier. I can't, uh, here is my pointer. This is Glacier Perito Moreno, right at the edge of the Andes, as we were saying. Next destination is on the third day, we will go into the Patagonian step again to La Leona River. La Leona River is to the north and east of Lago Argentino. And this is the place where we will see many other um, typical birds of the Patagonian steppe, such as chocolate vented tyrant, uh, the seed snipes, both of them, gray breasted and least seed snipe. Uh, we will be looking for all of them. And particularly, we plan to go um, from La Leona, we will, which means the lioness, we will try our luck with Lago Vielma. We will drive along the road 21 and uh, get more or less to this place where we will check the waters of the lake and the nature track groups have seen here the famous hooded grieve in the past. Never assured, of course, this is not the, the, the best place to look for it because it is far from here, but uh, sometimes we see a hooded grieve in Lago Vierma. One thing for sure, we will have wonderful, wonderful views of the, of the mountains that are a bit farther north and to the west, Cerro Torre and Cerro Fitzroy. Fitzroy Mount and Torre Mounts are really, I would say, emblems of the Patagonia and uh, we will have uh, wonderful views of them, although from a long distance, but really fantastic with the Lago Le Biedma Lake in front. Right, from the uh, um, I, I will run out, out of time. Oh, I'm minutes, sorry. Yes. This is Ushuaia. From here we fly to Ushuaia. And uh, in Ushuaia we will visit the Tierra del Fuego National Park, where uh, we will find ourselves immersed in the Patagonian forest a couple of birds from uh, the Patagonian forest, Magellanic woodpecker. And uh, of course we have plenty of photos of this place, but to be honest, uh, we will have to wait for another occasion. Um, many, many photos of these birds. At the end of this tour, we offer this Pampas extension, which is in Buenos Aires province. Pampas extension is, it's, it's grasslands, uh, endless grasslands uh, with uh, lots of wetlands. And uh, this is the place where we see Great Area, giant wood rail here on the right, lots of new birds for us. And of course, perhaps this is the best mammal of the trip, the uh, Argentinian beef. Argentinian, <laughs> Argentinian barbecue. So thank you very much and sorry for the delay.